Suka Babe star Keisha Buchanan has ignited a war of words with former bandmate Amel Baraba over their past together. The 39-year-old Push the Button singer was a guest on a podcast where she recounted the day that she was given the boot from her chart-topping girl band. As fans of the Sugababs know, the group had a near-revolving door of members, with Keisha founding the band alongside fellow originals Mujibwina, 39, and Sayobin Donaghy, 40. The original trio are back together and releasing and performing old and new tracks to the delight of fans. However, Sayovin was replaced by Heidi Range, 41, after the first album was released. Then Muchia was replaced by Amel after she quit the band in 2005. Fans were stunned in 2009 when Keisha was replaced by final band member Jay Guin, 36, and the group disbanded soon after. Reflecting on the moment she was axed from the band, Keisha told the Receipts podcast, I didn't leave. I was replaced. I got a text message. Well, they told me that the band had disbanded. They said they didn't want to continue. She continued, I was in L.A. because we were about to shoot the video. When I got back, I will never forget. I saw this paparazzi and I was like, who are they for? What's happening? He said, well, the front of the newspaper. The stunned podcast host then said, so you've basically been exed out of your own group. No one really told you and then on top of it. The narrative was that it was almost your fault for on top of it. To which Keisha said, yeah, that was that was really difficult. The jaw-dropping account was highlighted on the official Receipts podcast Instagram page and drew the attention and ire of Amel who lashed out at Keisha's claims. The Red Dress singer wrote in the comments, This is literally no tea what happened, but I'm sure a lot of people will believe it. And that's octa. She continued, I have been happy for you, so why lie? To maybe try and edit history and leave out a massive part so you look like the good guy. It didn't even need to be mentioned as you know what really happened. I wasn't ever going to speak about it, so you had nothing to worry about anyway. She went on. Through the years, I got over it and have left it in the past and have since only had love for you. Why not speak of the good things, your success, rather than making up stuff that didn't happen and making two good people look bad when what is being said didn't happen? It's wrong. We are grown women. What's the point of doing this? I don't understand it. Amel was later asked by a fan if she was trying to get attention by sharing no concrete info to back her claim up. The summertime hitmaker replied, and who would believe me unless I bought everyone we worked with into it? I wouldn't do that. Doman haven't wanted to speak badly of someone no matter what happened, and to be turned into she said this and they said that, for it to turn nasty when there's no need for it. I'm a mother, have a happy life, and left it in the past, but it's saddening to hear such a different version of the truth and missing out so much. I just don't understand. Just want a peaceful life and to be left out of all of these lies. It's wrong and totally immoral. The original Sugababes reformed in 2019 and released the critically acclaimed album, The Lost Tapes, in 2022. Their latest single situation was released last month, and the trio have teased a new album will soon arrive, with Psy Open telling Absolute Radio recently, I can reveal that the album is in its finishing touches stage now.